Like a sheriff in an old western movie, Zimbabwe's central bank governor is on a mission. And just like back in the Wild West, there is a bounty on offer. Unfortunately, it's not a rich one. And that could be one of the reasons why there's been a muted response to the central bank's call. A $100 trillion note is being reimbursed at just 40 cents, but it fetches a lot more elsewhere, like in this antique store where the note is sold for $75. But the shop's owner tells me business has been slow in recent times because he can't get hold of the notes, and that could be another reason why the Reserve Bank won't have much luck. There just isn't much of the old currency out there anymore. 2008's hyperinflation wiped out the value of the Zim dollar overnight, leaving many here with bitter memories. I don't think people still have the old notes. We were so disappointed that we threw them away or burnt them. I did come across some who are still holding on to a precious few notes, but they won't be returning them to the banks either. I'm keeping this so that I can show my children and grandchildren that this used to be our money. That could be a realization that the once loved local unit may not be seen again. Certainly not until a raft of conditions are met. A stable macroeconomic environment. Um, and by stable, we need to achieve at least 4% GDP growth for a sustainable period. Um, we need to restore confidence in the financial system. Uh, we need to create jobs. We need to uh, also build up sufficient reserves. One of the biggest risks with bringing back your own currency um, in a developing country like Zimbabwe is, is, is the risk of, of having a run on your currency. I do not expect uh, to see the return of the Zimbabwe dollar from a, uh, a purely academic stoke theoretical perspective for the next at least five to ten years. Until then, it's bye-bye to the country's old currency, which will now only be found hanging on different walls across the country. Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.